r slash ask reddit reddit what is the worst party you have ever attended an office christmas party not an officially sanctioned company event but an informal gathering at a co-worker's house no bosses were there at some point my wife looked at me and said you're drunk you need to get home now i don't know what made her say that i'm not an obnoxious drunk I don't get into arguments with people or say outrageous things. I might have been slurring my words a little, but I wasn't on the point of falling down or throwing up. But I trusted her judgment, so I'll let her drive me home. I was drunk enough that I went straight to bed and fell sound asleep. So what did my wife do? She went back to the party without me, and ended up making out with one of my co-workers. This was my first wife. Sorry to hear that, Jim can't believe Pam did that to him. One of the men graduation parties I went to after high school. It was an awesome party for an hour or so then some 17 year old showed up with her baby and kept insisting people keep it down so she could get the baby to sleep and have some time to herself and to party. Cleared out pretty fast. I used to DJ at the clubs here in my town. And on the nights there were no events. Me and all the other DJs. We were kinda a tight knit group would find private parties. Most were by people that we knew. That were usually our sponsors or permit holders. Well one night we couldn't find any party to go to. Then around 11pm my buddy got a text from a friend of his saying there was a bangin house party going on. So we arrive at this party. I dk who the DJ was but it was no one we had ever heard of before. Their music was so so. And it seemed a bit too poppy for us. But hey what the we figured we'd stick around anyways. Now keep in the mind all the lights were off and whoever had thrown this party knew what they were doing. It wasn't unlike the big events we would go to held at private warehouses and whatnot. You know. Seemed like your average rave except in a house. So I am walking around and I start noticing all these girls and guys look young. Which I mean at all our events we'd get a lot of 18 20 year olds. But these guys look like teens. I point this out to a friend and he agrees. We start asking around and realize there's no adults except us. Even the DJ was only like 16. We are getting ready to leave and this girl comes out of nowhere and she's like who the duck are you guys? I didn't invite you to my party. So then she tells us this is her sweet 16 day party. And suddenly everything makes sense. Literally we had gone to a teenager's house party. We booked it the duck out of there real quick. New Year's Eve party at my parents house. Just as the clock struck midnight my dad set off possibly the biggest firework I've ever seen and heard. The sound of it was so loud in fact that it killed my sister's hamster. A lot of screaming and crying followed. Sounds like your dad used the Hamsterdam 3000 trademark sign. I can hear the music at the funeral now. Da da dee dee doo doo. Dee dot ditty doo. I was invited to a sleepover in high school. The girl was a bit bratty, but she lived in this huge lakefront house and everyone wanted to go because they wanted to sleep in her mom's mansion. This sleepover party turns into a rich kid brag fest. She wouldn't let any of us touch anything she owned because it was hers. She showed off her birthday present. A tanning bed. Someone mentioned that we should watch a movie. We all agreed to watch something but she put her foot down and said we were watching a musical she wanted to watch or we could go home. Her mom ordered pizzas for us and had bought wine coolers. We were all in the 14-16 age range. The girl dictated that we were to only have two pieces each because she didn't want fat friends. Some of the girls were bored with the movie. So we decided to do manicures instead. The girl came and glued. How dare we interrupt movie time. She ran upstairs and tattled to her mom. Who then told us we had to put that stuff away and watch the movie because we were being disruptive. We played truth or dare afterwards and we dared this girl to eat a third slice of pizza as a joke. She got so pissed off that she started crying. Stomped off to her room and locked the door. She didn't come out for the rest of the night. But we heard her screaming and throwing things. The mom came downstairs and unlocked her door. Trying to calm her down. The rest of us kinda sat around. Shocked at her behavior. And a few of us called our parents. Asking for them to come pick us up. Myself included. I don't think the girl ever recovered from this mishap. She eventually went on to be a hard drug user in her late teens. Fried her brain out. And now she lives in this one bedroom shack on the outer part of town and can barely string a sentence together.
She should have eaten that third slice of pizza, then she would be living a wonderful life. Refusing pizza is a gateway drug. In college I went to a singles mixer organized by NRA. I knew it wouldn't be a drinking party, but I assumed it would be sort of like a cocktail reception where I could meet some single women. The RA who organized it was in a counseling program, and decided the best format was to sit everyone in a group like a group therapy setting. She then asked everyone to go around the room and talk about who they are, then what they are looking for, then sexual preference and so on, and on, and on. It was Luong and weird and really personal for a group setting. At the end you would assume she would use the speed dating format where we could discreetly write a few names we liked and if there is a match they would connect us. Nope. We were asked to go around the room and in a safe and open setting tell us someone you felt a connection with and we could be paired up. The Ra went first. She picked the hottest guy in the room. He said, uh, sorry, I'm more interested in someone else and that ended the entire evening on the spot. This is the worst thing I've ever read. Ha ha ha. That rejection is actually funny as duck. She thought she was setting herself up but got completely denied. I had a friend from high school invite me and three other friends over for what he described as a party. We thought that it might be a small gamer party with some nerdy board games or something as there were only the three of us plus him and his wife. His wife then proceeds to start an hour and a half presentation about Urban and tries to sell female beauty products to a group of males between the ages of 19 and 22. I was astounded. So how much did you buy? If you turn Urban around, it's no bra. Haven't been to that many parties, but this one stood out for its weirdness. A couple was throwing a holiday party. I knew the husband, who was a computer tech worker. His wife was a fashion photographer. So basically, half the people at the party were nerdy computer guys, and the other half were gorgeous women who worked as high fashion models. Let me tell you, the guys were very interested in mixing, and the women were not. Not quite a party but a conference I went to in grad school. The American Chemical Society shared the convention center with a cosmetologists and hairdressers convention. It was not two great tastes that taste great together. The horror with which we viewed them was equaled by their distaste for us. Q chemists all are pulling their hair out when they get pitched the chemical free hair products. Edit. Sorry for the bad English I've only been speaking it my entire life and it's my native tongue. And I'm an idiot. Was a date to a female friend's cousin's wedding. The father of the bride died of a heart attack during the reception. A horrible, horrible night. Jesus. That's ducked up. That's going to be a tough one to consummate. A Mormon wedding reception. No alcohol. String quartet playing. No dancing and 4 hours of listening to family members reminisce about the bride and her life leading up to this momentous occasion. The marriage lasted 1 year. TL. Doctor don't go to Mormon wedding receptions. Right out of high school. There was this Mormon chick I started hooking up with. After she got bored with me, she banged several of my friends for a while then moved. For some reason, she invited me to her wedding. I must have heard no less than 5 people mention how she kept herself pure during her time outside of Utah. Coincidentally, I also know 5 people that ducked her in the ass. The old poop hole loophole. My dad planned a big Christmas party a few years ago. Invited all of his friends from work, and a bunch of other people, went out and spent about $250 on food booze. Not a single person showed up. At least I had lots of snacks to eat and booze to drink. I felt really bad for him though. Comma. I want to give your dad a hug. I totally feel for your dad. It's not even that his friends probably disrespected him. Your old man probably just isn't good at organizing a party. I throw the worst parties. At this point in my life, I don't even try anymore. What I usually do is invite a friend over for drinks, then call some more friends. I find it works better if I just wing it and call it to get together. I was invited to a toga party. Huge party. Maybe 60 plus people in a bungalow style house. Not one girl showed up. 60 guys gathered together in togas with no women present is just called the senate. Yeah, if no girls will go. That's probably the smartest, safest decision for them. 
birthday party for a friend of mine when me and him were both maybe 5 years old, in front of everyone. I was firmly pulled aside by the arm by the birthday boy's mother for busting the piñata too early. I was then told that I was ruining the party, that I almost hit the birthday boy's dad with the little wiffle bat that we were using, and that I should be better behaved or she would tell my parents. In my defense, I was blindfolded, and the piñata was being moved up and down so it was all fair game. I was also never told that we were trying to make the piñata last. Also, how much damage can a 5 year old kid with a wiffle bat do to a grown man? I thought you had hit the piñata before it was time. She was upset you were able to actually hit it while trying to hit it? Yep. They told me to start swinging and start swinging I did. I think the other kids were disappointed they didn't get a turn. But like I said, I was never told to hold back. I was also a hyper 5 year old. I was at a pool party. By nightfall everyone was pretty wasted. One of the guests thought it would be funny to fill a Jajamester bottle with Ipecac and offer shots to the people in the pool. 12 or so people did a shot and were so wasted that they didn't care that it tasted funny. A few minutes later it was a total puke fest in the pool. Kinda like that scene from Family Guy, but in water so everyone was screaming and scrambling to get out as the pukes whirled around them. I had a friend in high school that injected Ipecac into a watermelon at a swimming party. One person had some of the watermelon and told everyone it tasted weird. The dad threw the watermelon away. That one kid puked in the pool. Everyone had to go home. Who has Ipecac just sitting around? Was pouring at a brew fest. Got invited to a hotel party later that night by another brewery rep. Was supposed to be a great party with lots of breweries in attendance. Showed up. It was just that brewery rep, making garlic bread, and his drunk as hell, mostly naked, girlfriend. I think you might have got invited to a threesome. Maybe, but I was not interested in that, that's for sure. Senior year college house party, it started off okay, a good sized crowd, a few drinks, takeaway pizzas galore and everyone playing this board game called Articulate. By the next morning, two of the hosts who had started the night as a couple were now in a, shall we say a gaping open relationship. One of the bathrooms had been redecorated in vomit, including ceiling. Honestly I was impressed. One guest had been outed to his bible bashing parents via Skype. Another stole a suitcase. A third managed to somehow fall out of the attic conversion. Then back into the house then down the main staircase all while projectile shitting. I don't even know how. But what really ruined it for me was someone stole my favorite pair of gloves. So I liberated a bottle of Jack Daniels that survived the evening as compensation. What I'm taking away from this is that if I ever find myself at a party where everyone just starts ducking, vomiting, and shitting everywhere, I should just start stealing things and leave. Because no one's going to be able to sort it out through all the bodily fluids. I have no words. My own birthday party. It was during my high school years. I had invited about 5 friends over, which was all my friends. Everything was ready, snacks, games to play, and I'm waiting for my friends to show up. None of them do. Instead, my brother invites his friends over. It ended up pretty good, the snacks didn't get wasted, and at least somebody showed up. Edit. It seems you guys have misinterpreted my brother's actions. His friends didn't hang out with me at all. Still better than nobody, I guess. Man, that was a shitty thing to do. You still friends with them? We're still friends. I had arranged the party on really short notice. So I understand why none of them could show up. Of course. It was really upsetting at the time. Child's birthday party. Parents swapped cute stories about their kids' bowel movements etc. Kids ran around screaming at each other. There was no alcohol. No adult food. To top it off the hostess was into health food so the only snacks was a variety of raw fruit. Whoa. You made it to the end? You're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content bruh. It's free and that's a great price.